There was a game at Craven Cottage uh, where Spurs won one nil with Harry Kane equaling Jimmy Greaves' record. He's oh, I forgot how many goals it is, but he needs one more and he's passed it. He's the all-time Spurs record goal scorer. I mean, we'll talk about the game. We'll talk about Kane uh, soon, but we're gonna. I think the the thing with obviously we saw it in Liverpool Chelsea the nil nil and now it's one nil. It was a pretty boring game, really. I think Fulham, if if they if they came in like how they did play against Chelsea, they would have won that game, and it was theirs theirs to to get back after that goal setback because they they have the quality and they showed that against teams like Chelsea. It was a huge opportunity for them. I think they may have overtaken Spurs if they won or got. Oh, at least it drew and it would just stay the same. Um, but it it was it was a pretty boring game apart apart from that. But I mean, I was just thinking we'll talk more about Kane in a bit. Going to rumours with Manchester United, but we were we were saying, I think me and my friend were talking. We we were saying that. Kane is never going to win anything at Spurs. He'll he may be like the Premier League top goal scorer when he retires and he will not have won well, except I don't know, blooming Aldi Cup, whatever Spurs fans talk about. I, he wouldn't have won anything some sort of major big, you know. What what they what Spurs need to do, they're on the up, they just need to start well, winning things and at least getting to semi-finals, finals of of um, championships, whatever. Their their main goal this season is to finish in the top four. I I don't think they will. They have to. They'll have to turn it around quite a bit to do that. Uh, but from a Fulham perspective, I mean, I I watched most of it. I think I. Uh, I, I watched up to a certain minute and then went off and then came back for the last 10, 15 and Fulham, they, I think it was up to them to either come up with some some huge quality or for, for Spurs to make a big mistake and that was never going to happen. So it, it's, it was theirs to, theirs to lose really. But I think... But going back to Kane as well, he's the goal was just so he's such a brilliant goal scorer, and we'll talk about that in the next one. But he, no no wonder he's going to be Spurs' top goal scorer. The goal, he literally took the touch without he he just sensed that the defender was coming to him, took the touch past him, without even looking, put it into the bottom corner so well. But you know. I think Fulham Fulham just ran out of ideas really. They <clears throat> they just they couldn't come up with any like big quality in the last few minutes or through throughout most of the game. Uh I mean the question is where's would where would Spurs be without Harry Kane?